up guys, Goody here. And before the video starts, I want to give a huge shout out to my members Giancarlo Goes, Lynx the Clone, FRE Zekiel, Nick Wells, ICW15, Sarkman, Peter Statsny, Super61, Rhino Mill, Bryce Fox, Colton Buckley, Bagel, Luke H, Alan Stafford, Nate Vitz, General Jackson, Dustin Boyd, Seattle Sway, Justin Whitelock, Micah L, Thomas Pulzone, Reliable Rob, Ryan Miller, and John Graber. Alright guys, enjoy the video. Alright, what is up guys, Cody here, and welcome back to another War of Rights line battle. Today we're going to be playing on Roulette Lane. Uh, so currently on the Confederacy we have the 8th Alabama and the 8th Florida. So they're going to be making their way on the left flank of the map. Artillery fire raining overheads uh, just in front of them in the woods. And they're going to be heading to the barn. So once again, this is going to be a line battle, so guys are going to be in uh, double call formation, and they're going to be heading out. So let's go ahead and take a look over at the conf or excuse me, Union side of the battlefield, uh, and the capture point is right over here. So we have the 51st New York on the stone wall covering the right side, and then on the left side we have the 20th New York, and they're going to be holding this household. So they know their hands are about to get dirty, getting their bayonets fixed. Uh, but the question is right now, do Union troops know where Confederates are? And I think they might. Now, as you can tell, all the Confederate forces are going to be massing up uh, behind this stone wall. Union troops are definitely prepared for the attack. They are now on the picket fence. Got the officer with his binos looking out, trying to gauge how many enemy troops are over there. And right now they're going to be outnumbered two companies to one. So we will see what the Confederates decide to do. They're going to be waiting patiently behind the stone wall. Okay, rise up, take aim. Rise up, take aim. Rise up, take aim. Holzbauer, there we go. Fire! First shots of the battle coming from the Confederates, so getting their shots off and crouching down to reload, that is definitely getting the Union attention. Um, now as for this right flank, it looks like they're going to be trying to flank around and hit the Union troops from two angles here. Um, so it looks like the 20th has joined these guys to reinforce this picket fence, or uh, split rail fence I should say. And they're going to return with a volley. Officer's still standing. Is he gonna crouch? Is he gonna stay? He's literally the only target here. He better couch. Crouch. <laughs> this guy's so dead. Rise up your game. Rise up. Look at that. Beautiful meat shield. Private taking a bullet so the officer doesn't have to. <laughs> and two casualties. <laughs> So back on the left flank, let's go ahead and take a look at the casualties. Uh, quite a few, not too many. Definitely taking a little bit more. Now, the stone wall is a better place for cover. Oh. And they are starting to get hit hard. Now as for the left flank, we have the 51st waiting patiently. They know that they're not firing with their whole force. Uh, and uh, they are expecting a push around this right side of the barn. Oh, I can't see it only. Uh, it looks like the that's NCO. What said, that's, what she, that's what she said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> they're having some fun that's right now. <laughs> Officer jokes. Okay. Yes. When you no, hear no. Our charge, yeah, okay. good. I think they're going to be coordinating a charge together. So, right wheel, rise up. Right wing, rise up. Right. And here they go. So charging in, unit troops wasting their volley, and now they are in the open field. They need to hurry up with their reloads. And they're going to be massing on this right side, as well as uh, maybe on the low left. 
Now, smart move here, using this fence line for cover. As you can tell, the other company is going to be joining them as well. Officer going down. Point blank volleys. Officer is probably going to get in there with the revolver. And they are coming over the wall. Officer is down. And charging on both sides of this fence line now. Union troops were able to regain their reloads. And Confederates are not looking too good right now. Not able to penetrate their side of the fence line. And we have a bit of a stalemate here. Those sides have their loads. They're just looking at each other. This, this one's got it. Come on, bring it. <laughs> it's all the enemy. What a great hold there from the Union troops. Both flag bears are still up on both sides. However, Confederates are much more depleted. And these guys are going to be ordering a withdrawal. Taking too many casualties. And they are still taking casualties as they retreat from the engagement. And it looks like they're going to be going to the left of the barn to regain uh, their reinforcements. But a great hold there from the Union troops. And we will see what happens next. Wow! All right, so Confederate forces have regained their strength, and they are going to be volleying the enemy. We have an artillery barrage in the middle of the battlefield. Um, so one force of Confederates is going to be on the right side of the barn, and then on the left side by the White House, we have a Confederate force volleying Ready. from the hillsides. Okay. And uh, they have some great okay. elevation here. However, they are compromising cover Fire. doing it. They are trying their best to head glitch. Oh, here comes a volley coming in from the Union. Let's see how devastating it is. So, definitely a lot more casualties compared to the Union troops, which are crouching down after every volley. Which is an extremely smart tactic. Um, and the guys that are standing are the actually the ones that are dying. But let's go ahead and take a look at the 20th New York here. The bodies. Oh my gosh, look at this guy's face. Oh, he's definitely seen some better days. Poor dude. But anyways, they're going to be volleying back as well. Now, looking at the timer, uh, there's 27 minutes to go, and still both sides are battle ready. So, if the Confederates want to win this, they got to get very aggressive and uh, start to diminish those tickets on the Union side. Wow. As you can tell, timing is everything. You want to make sure Confederates are standing when the Union troops shoot. But let's go ahead and head into first person and get in on some of this action. We're going to be trying to take back this fence line that we have uh, allowed the Confederates to get. And we're going to be sending them to the hills. Hold, hold. Hold the line. <laughs> so it's played our harmonica. Nice. So another great job of holding the line here. Um, yeah, they are completely back to the barn. So interesting tactic there from the Union officer. Um, falling back and then kind of drawing them in to push them back, which is, uh, now that I think about it, pretty smart tactic. The pile still continues to grow. So Confederate forces now pushing back up to the fence line. And we will see if we can catch the Union troops off guard. Union troops just got their reloads back. And here we go. <laughs> Someone flying over the fence line. Officer's dead. Maybe the third time's the charm. We will see. Looks like the flank is down for the uh, Union here. And they are starting to make some headway. They do need reinforcements though. And they are coming in in mass. Got a lot of guys pushing to that fence line. Um, so right now it's very even. I would have to say a lot more unit troops do have loads compared to the Confederates. They do need to get that flag up though, otherwise it's not going to be too good for the Union. Oh, 
A lot of these Confederates are actually wearing blue coats, so it definitely is deceiving to the Union Army. Here I come, bastard. Oh, yeah. Holy and the flag, <laughs> once again, running from the battlefield. So, Union troops, man, they're holding like a stone wall, slaughtering anyone that comes over here. And both sides are engaged with 20 minutes to go. Great hold. Oh, this guy got a very unfortunate spawn. Kill him. Oh, he's getting his bayonet on. What is he going to do? I don't think he's real. Oh, he is real. <laughs> he's getting his reload. What a weird place to reload. <laughs> and he is down. Uh, so taking a look at the overview of the battlefields, um, Union troops have given themselves a lot of time to reform. Flag is uh, almost back to the Confederate spawn point with one es escort. Uh, and the rest of the line is going to be moving out. Now, they are going to be sprinting here. As you can tell, some of the guys don't even have their bayonets on. And they're making a head-on push. Now, this smoke screen from that artillery might provide a lot of cover. And we will see if these Union troops know about it. Now, it looks like another charge has started on the left flank. Flagbear, once again, going to be retreating from the battle. But do the Union troops know what's coming through the smoke? I believe they do see it now, but very few guys are holding this point. Uh, most of the men are on the left flank. Can they reform in time to adjust? And pushing to the stone wall head on now. Guys, behind you, behind you. Oh, these guys are oblivious. Don't turn around. Frantically trying to hold. Do they have a foothold this time? Maybe the fourth time's the char, we'll see. Union troops pushing back into the previous position to try and eliminate this force here. Officer getting some good shots in. Oh, and he is down. Absolute frenzy for this fence line. And I think once again, Confederates are uh, going to be defeated. Uh, this is definitely a tough map for them. And only one remains, and he is down. Now, both flag bears are out uh, for the CSA. At least I believe so. I don't know if any of them need them back to spawn in. Once again, back to square one. Uh, they're going to be reforming and getting ready for the next. Oh, yep. You got movement. You got movement. All right, and here goes the Confederates on the left flank. West. Union troops concealing their numbers, hiding behind the stone wall. And they are right at their doorstep. Get him. Oh, look at this. Point flank. They're changing up the tactics, pushing on the left flank now. Confederates don't have any response. Looks like the second line for Union troops is coming in to aid. And another good win from the Union there. So valiant effort from the Confederacy, switching up the tactics and trying to attack on the left flank. Now on to the right flank though, we have another Confederate force pushing out from the barn. And once again, they're going to be trying to take the fence line. Now, since uh, the left flank is gone, they can use their full strength to help uh, defend this fence line. And I don't know if this attack is going to be too successful. The timing was slightly off from both charges. If they charged at the same time, it might have been a little bit more effective. But they have diminished a lot of the Union troops. As you can tell, both sides taking losses. And with 13 minutes to go, it's still anyone's game. Uh, they're going to be once again falling back behind the barn and back to the stone wall. Now that flag is down. They do need to get it up. Good boy, get the flag up. Run! <laughs> and they do make it to cover. Let's go kill some brave. So little do these Union troops know. If only they look to their left, they would notice an entire line. Will these two guys spot them? Oh my gosh, do they see them? Well, enemies? Yeah, they're coming down that fence. 
<laughs> the Confederates are coming. <laughs> venom, 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 Venom. Left. Captain, sir. Fine. There we go. So, the two hooligans in the back were able to fight the Confederate force. And once again, these guys don't have a flag bear. It's only the force on the right that does. And they are in an open field. Light them up, boys. Oh, that guy got two kills with one shot. That's impressive. So it looks like one group's gonna stay on the right flank. They know the threat of that other Confederate force over there. But let's take a look at the left side and see what's going on. Now, these guys, uh, in the long term, will win out against these Confederates. Oh, look at this guy coming in from spawn, surprising the Confederate forces. And only a handful of these guys remain with their Fall officers back. still alive. Officers going to be ordering a retreat. It looks like more reinforcements are coming in over the left flank, but however, that's going to leave a void on the right side, and Confederates are going to be able to take this fence line. Now, they need to hold this fence line. They are heavily outnumbered. Charging in like that's not going to be too effective. Might hold them off the point for a little bit longer. But ultimately, these guys just don't have the manpower. Flagbear trying to work overtime to get uh, those reinforcements going. And as you can tell, this is just super clear who has more man, uh, more manpower. Just holding like an absolute stone wall. Just unable to be broken. And the Flagbear has got a partner here, and he's going to be <laughs> chasing them down for a little bit. Oh, is he gonna shoot him? I thought he was gonna shoot him, I guess. Oh, yeah, he might. He actually is taking a shot. Let's see if he lands it. Oh, not wanting to take the shot either. He doesn't have ammo, or he's just not wanting to. Um, it looks like, on the other hand, though, the officer, or excuse me, the flag bear for the Confederacy is down. So they're gonna be working with half strength numbers now. And with nine minutes to go. Oh my god, people are flying. Uh, Confederates are just, they're just lacking it, man. They're, they're trying their best, they're giving their all um, in every push they do, but it's just not working out. And these guys are battered, but not defeated. Still plenty of time to turn the tide of this battle, but we will see what happens. Company, the double quick, forward. March. Forward. On me, boys. Run up on me. So with six minutes to go, looks like 8th Florida is going to be pushing on the right flank. And on the left flank, we have the 8th Alabama. They're going to be combining their attack here on both sides. Now, there was previously an artillery barrage in the middle of the fields. So that's going to create some smoke. And only a limited amount of uh, unit troops are going to be holding this right flank. Left flank. It's going to be desperately needed in this defense here for the Union troops. And here they go. Now this might be the straw that brings the camels back. Union troops get a first, great first volley in. However, Confederates are going to be returning it once they reach that fence line. And they have put the Union troops into breaking now. Five minutes to go. Looks relatively even, I would have to say slight advantage to the Union. Both flaggers are still up on each side. Now if the Union troops decide to do a little flanking maneuver, it will be GG for these guys. One flag bears up. Oh, and that is a game changer. He needs to get that flag up. Officer trying to order his men to get it up. And it's the battle of attrition right now. Who can last longer in this frenzy? Confederate officer try oh we got a little duel oh Union officer Captain Venom of the 51st New York absolutely doming the Confederate officer and with both flags down and people being oblivious it's not looking too good this guy needs to pick up the flag it looks like he's trying his best and they gotta fall back oh can they retrieve any of the flags this guy is a super hot target literally everyone is aiming at this guy can he make it back? The lone survivor. Oh, and he falls short. So with no flag bears left and four minutes to go, it is all gas and no brakes for the Confederates. They have to push in as quickly as possible, getting their bayonets uh, and maybe not even their reloads. It looks like one group doesn't even have their reloads. 
uh, and they're going to be pushing on the left flank. So, only way they're going to win this match now is taking the capture points. Now, we have another first wave here pushing in. They're going to be trying to retrieve the flag, but more importantly, get as many kills and try and take that capture point. <laughs> and they are right in front of their faces in the open field. They're like, this was a mistake. Get the flag and go. Smart move there, using uh, people as meat shields for cover. Now they have retrieved one of the flag bears, so that's going to okay, give the Confederates a fighting chance. Uh, and not to mention, more troops coming in now from a head-on approach. These guys definitely lack the manpower up front. The main attack is going to have to mass on the right flank. Uh, this is more so of a distraction force here. As you can tell, the other officer knows that. He's going to be rejoining the guys on the right where they can uh, reproduce with photosynthesis. Officer trying to get as many kills as he can going down. This Union force is just too damn strong. They, uh, they can definitely withstand <laughs> quite a few attacks to say the least. Uh, we have a small force going on the left flank trying to reach around maybe about 8 to 10 guys. Um, and meanwhile, the rest of the Confederates are going to be trying to use this bush as cover. Trying to reproduce, definitely not the best spot, but under the, these circumstances, we don't have many other options. Maybe push back to this fence lane for a little bit more cover. Actually, it looks pretty even in terms of cover here. So they're going to be falling back uh, and hopefully getting enough reinforcements for one final push to determine whether or not they will win this game. Um, it is really going to come down to the wire. Even though the unit troops uh, have been able to repel these guys each time, uh, you never know with this next charge what could happen. Now, we do have a couple more Confederates, like I said, on this right side of the map. They are getting occasional kills here and there. Uh, but both sides are very close to last stand and final push. So with two minutes to go, uh, we will see what carnage unfolds. Right now, it is, uh, it's coming down to how fast these guys can reproduce. These guys are the baby makers. So they need to start pumping out fully grown confederate troops with bayonets and all. Don't know how they do it, but they got some magical powers or something. They're getting their reloads and bayonets in with a minute and 40 to go. I think they're going to be left short-handed. Now a smart move, yep, exactly. So they're going to be spawning from main. Very smart move here. They know it's going to take too long to charge uh, from or reproduce from the flag bear. So they're coming from main with another push here in hopes of depleting enemy tickets. Now they are starting to capture the objective. This is very crucial here. Uh, and it is slowly going down um, in the Confederates' favor here. Now this might be the best chance they have all of match to hopefully win this engagement. Priority, keep that flag up. And right now, uh, it looks like only half the Union force is dealing with this site. And they are starting to give way, but they got a whole other line here, pretty much shooting at nothing, just a couple guys. This right flank is going to be absolutely crucial. 40 seconds to go. Confederates are getting very close to the capture point and taking it. Can they do it? They have been sent into final push, but that does not matter. They need to get this flag up if they want to win this match. 27 seconds. It's going up in their favor. It's just, do they have enough time and manpower to hold on for dear life? And I do not think so. Union troops just overwhelming them. And uh, once again, one of the only survivors retreating from the battlefield with the flag. Um, and <laughs> rip. It's about to say, at least they got their flag back, but I guess not. Uh, look at that! Sent it to last stand, but that is it. GG! Great game for the Union. Uh, 472 losses for the Confederates and 331 for the Union. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you guys are new to the channel, feel free to hit that sub button. And until then, I will see you guys soon. So few of the past that control